Welcome to Crochet ADHD. I'm your host, Jackie. I do want to share with you some D stash that I have been. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit about D stash and I know what you're thinking. But Jackie, why would you de-stash? <laughs> I'm not. No, no, I decided that in April I was not going to purchase a lot of stuff brand new. I was going to rescue some yarn from others. And to that end, I was able to rescue yarn from two, yes, from two different people. I'm gonna show you. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, the first yarn I have actually doesn't have a name, but look at this. Ooh, pretty. Look, uh, did, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, and if, if I ha had to guess, it is probably 75-25 merino nylon. It is fingering weight and it is glorious. Isn't that so pretty? I got this from a friend in Texas and I also got, this is, uh, the yarn was made by the Little Wolf Knits, which I've heard of, you know, several times through YouTube, Instagram, but I've never had a chance to try it before. And this is a set, a sock set called I Smell Snow. And it is 464 yards, 100 grams. And the mini is 20 grams, 94 yards. It is 75-25 BFL, so blue face luster and nylon fingering weight. Now, if you look, you see the little tinges of pink in there? That is so cool. And I Smell Snow is a reference to Gilmore Girls. Yeah, I, I like Gilmore Girls. I didn't watch it when it was on, didn't watch it when it was on, but uh, we watched it as a family later on. I also got this one, I'm gonna, this is called Mirasol Fulu. Oh, it looks so huge. Oh my, that's cause it is. This is 42% baby alpaca, 42% extra fine merino wool, 16% polyamide. It is 250 meters or 274 yards, 100 grams, and it is a number four. It is, it, it, it feels like, it feels like clouds. I mean, it's, it's, it's light as all, and I, let me see here. It almost looks like, there we go. It almost looks like it's chain spun maybe. I don't know, there's a lot of little writing on here and my eyes are not as young as my mind is. I don't know, if I do some more research, I'll have editing Jackie share that information with y'all. Fulu. Anyway, and I got two of these. What's the yardage? 274, so eight, so 500 and, 548 yards. Wonder what I could do with that. My goodness. My goodness. And the last thing that I got from my friend in Texas is a sock blank. 
Now, if you've never heard of a sock blank, it is like the neatest idea, I think. You basically take uh, undyed yarn and you like crank it or, well, you crank it or you knit it into like a big rectangle and then you can dye it or you can paint on it or you can, you know, decorate it that way. And then you sell it and then you essentially, let me show you, let me see if I can do it justice. Now I'm guessing the order in which things happen as far as like it being dyed before or after it's cranked into a tube, but it kind of makes sense that it's blank when it's like, or when it's, that it's not dyed when it's cranked into the flat piece. All right, thesaurus add to cart. So here is the sock blank. Now, why did I do that? See, I just rolled it up and then unfurled it. So it's got this beautiful design on it that you could, so it's already like the end is loose. So you just start knitting or crocheting from this end and I don't know what it'll look like when you make your project, but it's just, I, I think this is just a neat, I don't know, option or, is option the word? No, it, you know what? It's just neat. It's cool. It's awesome. It's, it's interesting. It is, maybe I should get more than one thesaurus. And I believe that this is, probably 100 grams so the equivalent of a full skein of fingering weight yarn but there's no brand on it so I have no idea of that either I'm looking forward to it and I don't have anything the in these colors like I'm lying I'm lying in a pinch I could always just Next on the yarn project yarn rescue. This one comes from Judy in Canada. If y'all don't know Judy, Judy is Judy's creations in crochet. She, okay, first of all, she is the first YouTuber that I had have ever seen that spoke about um, expression fiber arts. And not that I didn't know who that yarn company was. I honestly, if, if Judy is not like a brand ambassador for Expression Fiber Arts, Expression Fiber Arts is really, really missing out because I believe Judy is a strong influencer for them. She loves their yarn. She talks about their yarn so much. And I am interested in getting some Expression Fiber Arts yarn because solely because of Judy. Anyway. So she was doing a de-stash and I got two skeins. Well, they're cakes now because she caked them for me. I'm going to show them to you. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is one. That is so pretty. This, this, the colors remind me of Miami, like the, the, again, the eighties, the colors of that were really popular, you know, the Miami colors. I don't know how to, maybe it's the Miami dolphins colors. I don't know, but it, this is what it makes me think of. And this yarn and coincidentally, both the yarns I got from her are from the same dyer. It's Mrs. Crosby. It is 100% superwash merino wool, 370 yards or 338 meters. And the name of it is, mm, here, I'll let you do that because I don't know. I'm calling it Miami. Welcome to Miami. 
And here is the second color. Man, I love these blues and greens and gray. Okay, this one is also for Mrs. Crosby. The same specs, 100% superwash merino, approximately 370 yards for 100 grams. And the colorway is called Magnolia. I don't know why it's Magnolia. See, I live in Louisiana and Magnolia is the state flower. Fun fact, it's also the state flower for Mississippi. Like they couldn't come up with their own I'm not, I'm not, I don't understand why it's called Magnolia. It's pretty. Sticking with Judy, I am collecting yarn uh, for a shawl that I want to make called the It's Not Easy Being, oh. It's not easy being green. And so I have asked or I put I've put out a call for fingering weight minis or scraps in various shades of green that I will put together in a shawl and it will be the it's not easy being green shawl. Judy answered the call. Ta-da! 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 <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm geeking out because look at the name of one of these greens. Poltergeist, you know, the 1980s movie. Thank you for the greens, but especially thank you for this one because, you know, it ticks more than one box. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this shawl is going to be massive and it is going to be gorgeous. I have never really found, seen myself as being a green person, but after looking at the greens that I've gotten so far from y'all, I don't hate it. I mean, greens are just, oh, you can see, see right there. I've already used some of this green in the shawl. And that is the mock turtle from Wonderland Yarns. But do they look the same? But they're not. Oh, that's fun. Oh, was that all? Hmm. I think that's it. The colorway for the 2024 I Love the 80s Mal is available for pre-order. These are inspired by Pac-Man. There's more information on the listing on my Ko-fi page. Here's the link. Keep those squares coming. Get your ideas. Um, in as far as the I love the 80s Mal which starts in August I am dancing between two thoughts first I was definitely just going to make a wearable of some sort but then inspiration hit me and I feel like I might do this other thing because it's like it'd be crochet it definitely the 80s and it also includes another love of mine. So I feel like that might be what I do. Um, and I'm going to open the, or I'm going to expand, if you will, the parameters of the 80s Mal to include sewing. So, and I have vintage sewing patterns. I don't have 80s sewing patterns because I don't know really like a lot of the clothes from the 80s, but I do have some from the 50s and 60s and 70s. I definitely have some from the 70s. Anyway, so if you want to sew something that was made in the 80s, or you can, if anybody designs a Gordon Gartrell, <laughs> I'm sorry, 
when I think of sewing in the 80s, that is the only thing that I think of. I could probably make a Gordon Gartrell. <laughs> <laughs> if you like this video please like this video if you want to stick around and become a member of the glam fam you can do that by clicking that subscribe button and don't forget to rock that notification bell until next time am i doing it three what did I say? Three, three skeins and a hook, three hooks and a skein, three hooks and a skein, my friend. <laughs>